I'm having here with me today, George, and we're going to speak about blockchain, blockchain and real estate, and the opportunities that are, there are here in Portugal, the legal framework, uh, the technicalities, the bureaucracy, and what can the blockchain do for you as a purchaser, as a user, as a developer, as a builder. Uh, we're going to speak about this and I'm going to give the, the, the word to, to, to George. George, what about Hi, that? Hi Tiago, thank you for the invite. I think that uh, there are dozens of innovations across the spectrum that you, you mentioned. I think it's quite clear that the technology and innovation that is brought by blockchain technology and by the Web3 ecosystem is disrupting a lot of things and will disrupt a lot of things that you, we currently do and will bring a lot of innovation to very traditional business models. Maybe focusing here a little bit on the development real estate sector. We are, we have currently a very traditional model that can be disrupted not only by the market that blockchain might bring or the marketing potential and opportunities that some types of transactions might allow but on the core of the business itself there will be potential for disruption a very easy example to think about is the shared ownership current models and the traditional model of real estate ownership makes it very hard for me to own, to own a villa in Algarve with my 15 or 20 best friends. While using blockchain technology, and particularly in here probably an NFT and a model of governance, it would be quite easy for us to manage that property and to enjoy it together without all the constraints and all the bureaucracy that the current system system brings. And I think that those are the types of, of actions that traditional business should be looking and should be analyzing. How can blockchain disrupt what I currently do? And what opportunities can blockchain bring to simplify my operations for cost benefits? But more than that, to enable me to create a new and more efficient business model that is better for the customer in the end. I fully agree with you. The fa in fact, bureaucracy uh, connected with real estate is extremely complex and the obligations uh, that when you have a real estate asset that you, you need to comply with. And the market for real estate would explode if we could create NFTs and a third party with these responsibilities also because kept the acquisition, the sale, uh, will be completely swift as buying a share. Uh, and this is the essential part, the essential jump that we need to do, because to do this, imagine that you have a house or you built a house or you built an office and this office is valued, imagine 10,000 uh, euros or 5,000 euros square meter. But if you make it completely fungible and easy to transact, it could increase 20, 30, 40% in value because more people could have their needs satisfied by this offer. And therefore, when you satisfy more needs, the value increases. This is the base of capitalism and it's the base of an economy. And people that don't do this, do not do this jump, uh, will probably have their Kodak moment uh, uh, with the smartphones, they will be left behind and in time they will go bankrupt. But, but at the same time, what I think they need is they need the legal framework, bureaucratic framework uh, in order to work it is. Portugal is regulating slowly, but it's regulating and we need to do the framework. And Portugal is a very interesting place to operate and to come. Uh, also, because a lot of foreigners are coming to Portugal the market is very dynamic. People want to work distance from Portugal to other places because of the tax framework, which is very, very appealing and to develop activities to crypto development here in Portugal. So what I see now is that we have an enormous opportunity and 
we need and companies need to start working on these issues. Thank you very much for, you, for your uh, uh, presence, George.